Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Oracle Reading. Our Oracle card for today belongs to the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle by Kelly T. Smith. The card for today is entitled Resolve. This is a period of indecision and inner conflict and it is time to make a decision. Part of life is when we encounter moments of indecision, when we find ourselves unable to move forward, when we find ourselves unable to make a choice, when we make a decision, sometimes we need to let go of something in order to embrace another thing. So uh, when we have to make a decision, uh, we sometimes cannot take both things. Now, you, you, if we can only take both choices, it would be nice. But there are moments wherein you have to choose between options, several options or two options. You need to make a choice. You need to make a decision. And oftentimes, when those choices are almost equal and you somehow value them in different ways, it's difficult to make a decision. Sometimes we are overcome or overwhelmed by anxiety within. And this anxiety within continues to grow the more we remain undecided. The longer we stay in that stage of indecision, the more the anxieties accumulate and sooner or later we encounter such a thing as paralysis by analysis. The more you try to weigh things, the more you try to analyze things, the more you are unable to move forward. Now, sometimes all we have to do is to make a resolve to move forward. How can we do that? Make a working plan. Make it a choice that is evolving. Sometimes that's the best way that we can do. For example, if two things you are trying to consider, two things that weigh almost equally, and you do not know which one to choose. It can be also choosing between two persons. You don't know which one to choose. Sometimes the best way that you can do is just to make a choice first. Not a complete, definite choice, but at least to start by making a choice to do one thing for a certain period of time, then afterwards to do the other thing for a certain period of time. The important thing is you start doing something. So for example, if two things you are not yet decided which of the two things you need to consider, then the best thing that you can do is you try to see which is the most uh, weightier between the two, which is you somehow a little bit better than the other and then you can choose to do that first and then afterwards after a certain period of time you try the other thing again sometimes that's one way that you can do when you are really undecided then make a decision okay i'll give it a trial period i'll try this one and then i will try the other one and then afterwards i will make another decision because sometimes also the reason why we are not able to make a decision is because we still haven't oriented ourselves with the choices. We are looking from it or looking at it from outside. We haven't really involved ourselves into the choices that we are about to make. So sometimes to choose to try one and then the other is already moving forward. The important thing is you take a step forward. Consider it as a working plan. You don't have to make it immediately a permanent one. Make it a working plan. The important thing is that you are able to move forward. For example, if you're going to a place and you are not sure what to expect, you try to make a working plan, but this working plan is open to changes anytime you realize that it's no longer feasible. So it's just a plan so that you can move forward. And as the 
event unfold, you adapt to it as the universe gives you insights, as the universe gives you direction on how to do it. You evolve with it. You gradually change towards it. So sometimes when you make a choice, you realize, oh, this is not the best choice. The other one can be. You you can create a situation wherein you are flexible and you can immediately move to the other one. The important thing is you take that step forward. Now let's try to read from the handbook that accompanies this card and maybe we can gain more insights regarding resolve. When you are in conflict with yourself, it means that half of you agrees and the other half does not. And this creates indecision and confusion. If you are going to do something, do it with your whole heart. Put both feet in and jump. If one foot is in front of you while the other foot is behind, you are unbalanced. You are not going anywhere except to possibly fall over. Anytime there is stagnation, it can be because you have not made up your mind about the direction you are heading. Are you in or are you out? Make up your mind to resolve this inner conflict. Inner conflict manifests in many ways and through one's inner dialogue is common. It can show up as, I really want to, but what if someone disapproves? Or, I really need this, but I can't do it right now. These messages are self-sabotage techniques which keep you from moving forward. If you really want something, let yourself believe that it is possible. This desire is your soul urging you to do something that is for your highest good at this time. Resolve to make a decision this week, one way or another. Just remember that if you stay in inner conflict with yourself, this is also a choice. Inaction is still an action. There is no invisible barrier keeping you from moving forward and there is no one to blame. There is only your own choice. Intuitive Life Coaching Questions What do you feel conflicted about? In what ways are you spinning in place instead of moving forward? What decision are you feeling guided to make? What's preventing you from making it? Well, that's it for today. I hope you were able to gain some insights from our topic, which is Resolve. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.